What's going on YouTube? Snipes is here with TKO <coughs> Gaming and you guys already know I am shitting out the Taken King guides and glitches left and right. I'm literally posting like three to four videos a day and I'm really hoping that it helps you guys and if you haven't checked out the other videos please just take a second to go check out the videos of this channel and hit that subscribe button so when I post future videos you guys know join the family people tell your friends about it share it around these uh, glitches exploits and guides may be fixed later on in the future so you want to take advantage of all of them right now now here we are in the skyburners command beacon it's a three-step process guys first off the skyburner command beacon as you saw in the beginning of the video where I went into that room where I'm looking right now onto the left is a little computer there all you got to do is you put in your the beacon, put it in. I don't know where the hell I even got the beacon. From what I hear, and my fire team told me, that when you kill Cabal, just like when a network key drops, you, one of the beacons will drop. And, you know, once you get the beacon, you can go do it. Now, I'm going to show you the whole process of what my team and I did once we got the beacon. So once you put the beacon in, all these Cabals are going to come and try to kick your ass. And a big-ass Cabal boss right there, I don't even know what his name is, but it looks like Valis Tarek's evil brother. I don't even know what the hell it is. I don't really care. But he's about to die. Boom, he's going to die. Look at all those beautiful orbs. Now, that is going to give you this deployment code. Once you get that deployment code, what you're going to do is you're going to run all the way over. Now, follow this. Follow me exactly uh, as I'm running across. And you're going to go up to an area uh, where you're going to come into a computer room and you're going to put that code in and it's going to take you to the next step. It's about a three-step process, guys. And if you have a fire team of three like we do, it can be done very, very, very quickly. So keep in mind that I'm just as new uh, to the TTK as you guys are. I'm not a big YouTuber or anything, so I didn't get to you know, play this early or, or get all the inside scoop. And we're, we are going to be, you know, this it's on the grind to get ready for the new raid. Just like you guys are getting ready, we are too, trying to get to that light level 300 or whatever the max light level is. All right, anyways, you come into this ship. A little hard to jump in there, but I will make it, and this is exactly how you guys can make it as well. Jump in there and put it in right there the deployment code now if you have a fire team of three everyone in that area from what i understand everyone in that area will get a deployment code so you can actually do this three-step process three times if you have a fire team of three um now the next thing is uh bone collected now this is pretty much where you're just going to kill enemies and collect the bones from them uh it, the steps sometimes vary. They vary very, very in small ways. Like, honestly, it's just, it's really late right now when I cannot talk. But all you got to do is kill them, get the bones. The other second step is just clearing out enemies and you have to reach 100%. You guys will know what I'm talking about once you do it yourselves. But all you need to do is get those bones. And then what you're going to do as once all these bones are collected, we get 20% per bone collected, which is pretty awesome because all you got to do is kill five enemies that drop the bone. Um, and then once this is done, the next phase is going to come up. Or I guess it would be a four-step process because uh, the first step, um, I, I didn't count the first step, but now that when that's con uh, collected, what you have to do is you have to signal intercept, right? It's phase two. Uh, I guess that's why I said it was phase one, phase two, phase three. But the first step is actually inserting the beacon to get that big ass cabal guy out. So what we're going to do right now is pretty much scanning an area, right? So I'm actually guide you guys through it. This area does change. This is, you know, if you do it yourself and you get the same uh, area to scan as me, uh, as our, as my fire team did. And this is how you do it. I thought that what was in front of me was what was going on. So I was like, oh my God, I got to get all the way over there. How do I do it? And that's just the Court of Oryx, guys. Do not worry about that. So by shooting, I put myself in the Court of Oryx, which is pretty cool. I guess you could actually do the Court of Oryx even when you're not actually in the Court of Oryx. I hope that made sense for you guys. But you're just going to run over here. Uh, once again, Bungie, beautiful, beautiful design on this Dreadnought. I, I'm very impressed, and I'm, it has a Gears of War feel to it, kind of like the Locust. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I was a big Gears of War fan, a uh, big Halo fan, and now on that Destiny grind. Respect to Bungie, as always. Uh, but you come over here to this pillar, and you're going to stand around this pillar. You're just going to scan it real fast. 
Aww, and there you go. The signal intercept is going up to uh, 100%, I guess. Once that's done, all you got to do is you got to go back and now you have to kill the boss. All right, it's, it's like a very mini boss, but this really makes you run like all around the Dreadnought. And the Dreadnought is huge. There's no fast way to get from one place to the next in Dreadnought because you can't really, you know, have a have a sparrow or anything so what i recommend is uh to put on like the icebreaker or suros uh to help you run a little bit faster i'm an idiot and i did not do that but um while i'm running over to the other boss i just want to let you guys know how horrible my luck is my rng luck is horrible my friends and i have been uh grinding this for the same amount of time and they're all at like light level 290 and i'm still sitting currently at 265 in this video i was like a 250 it was horrible but slowly, steadily getting up there to, uh, you know, be prepared for that raid, which we will be live streaming 10 a.m. this Friday, September 18th. Please do tune into the live stream. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash Gaming. Everything, the Twitter, everything we do is on Real TKO Gaming. We're doing giveaways, guys. We're doing a TTK giveaway. Uh, we're doing uh, all sorts of giveaways, raffles, Red Bull codes. Uh, just follow us on Twitter and the live stream. The links to those are in the description below um connect with us uh we love helping the community we love giving back to you guys for all the support you guys do um and you know you guys putting a thumbs up on my videos or sharing it with your friends it helps more than more than you know so thank you guys so much for that anyways we come all the way down here uh to this little mini boss and uh you can pretty much just run past all the dudes that are shooting you uh, keep in mind your light level. Uh, I'm with someone whose light level is about 285, I believe, or 280, so it's a little bit easier. Um, I am a, I'm, a, I'm a weakling, so you'll see me almost dying a couple times. But if you hold, if you pull your ghost out, you'll actually see the the boss is. It's just a red crown will be on him. I don't know if you have the colorblind settings. It might be a different uh, color for you. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, you're going to come over here. Uh, all this awesome mayhem is happening. There's that red crown. Uh, he's almost dead. He's about one shot away. I'm getting my butt kicked, so I'm pretty much going to try not to die. But uh, I get back there, and I take care of him, and he's going to die. Um, once he's dead, you're going to get something. Uh, there you go. Everyone gets it. It's the security pass, pretty much. Um, what the security pass pass is is you're gonna go back to the same room where you put in the code right to, to start all the three steps oh here but here by the way I let them kill me so I can spawn on the other side so you know I don't look like a noob I actually took I took it like a man I, I died like a boss um but anyways you come back here you retract your steps all the way back to where you initially put in the code and uh, once you put in the code you're gonna be good to go you're gonna get your reward it guarantees you, um, what does it guarantee you? It guarantees you a deceptive rune, I think, or it's like a very high chance you'll get that. It guarantees you worms, spore, uh, whatever it is. I don't even know what it's called. And it also guarantees you a, at least a blue engram. Uh, my teammates have actually gotten a uh, legendary engram, and we've done this probably like eight times. And honestly, guys, it gives you vanguard rep. It also gives you rep towards your um like i'm dead orbit so it gives you rep towards your faction it gives you a lot it gives you like 17 for vanguard and 25 for uh your faction and i probably got those numbers wrong but you'll see for yourself here in a second but this door right here we're gonna open it up and once the door is open you're gonna come over here and you're just gonna put in that security pass and you're gonna get this chest guys remember each of your teammates have one so each of you guys can do it three separate times as a fire team together so thank you guys so much for watching taking the time to watch this nine minute video i really hope you guys enjoyed it please do remember to leave a thumbs up it helps a ton share with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video peace